So in the past, there's been, you know, 100,000 or more brought in a year. Lately, the, the cap has been 70,000 refugees. Of course, that doesn't include asylum seekers, which when you add up their families, that's another approximately 40,000 recently. And then there's all other kinds of special exceptions. Uh, uh, southern Yemenis were just given uh, temporary protected status. Uh, TPS is a program started in 1991 for the uh, uh, Salvadorans who were all flooding the United States illegally to escape the uh, civil war in El Salvador. And what happens is they're given this quote-unquote temporary protected status where for 18 months they get to stay here uh, when and if their country has experienced uh, uh, a civil war or a, or a debilitating natural disaster. Uh, and so, of course, Haiti after the earthquake, places like that. But then the trouble is, every 18 months, they just uh, re-up their temporary protected status. So all the people that came here in 1991 are still here on temporary protected <laughs> status. And yeah. that's say, the same thing is true with all the various other countries that uh, the, the, the uh, uh, Ebola outbreak countries last yeah. year yes, were all yes. given temporary protected status. So all those people who were fleeing, you know, that terrible disease, now they have temporary protected status to stay in this country indefinitely. And well, it's an indefinite program. It's a, it's amnesty by another name. Well, let me ask you a question here. Is there a, a special protection program for transgenders? Oh, yeah, there is. There's, there's a new... Uh, <laughs> There's a new program for uh, uh, transgender people seeking uh, refugee, you know, transgender refugees, and they and they got all kinds of special exceptions for them, yes. Well, because I got a story here come off of Reuters that says a transgender illegal immigrant who suffered years of sexual and physical <laughs> abuse in Mexico cannot be deported despite a felony conviction because she it, is... Protected it, it, under international <laughs> right. anti-torture right. conventions, a U.S. Right. appeals court ruled right. on Thursday. Right, right. Uh, it's, it's you know, we are, we are in serious trouble. Sure <laughs> says she could be a mass murderer here, but she can't go back because she might face persecution yeah. in Mexico. <laughs> It's sheer insanity. This is what happens when you put oh. communists in charge of a oh, country. Oh, Lord. And that's what happened, too. That's what happened. Pure, pure communism. Well, there's, uh, there's, um, the only thing is that we have got to be able to figure out a way to <laughs> clean house. And, uh, oh, we really do. And, and, and what we have got to do is bring the courts in this country under control because they are 90% responsible for the illegal... Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, problem that we have, and yeah. 100 percent responsible for the legal right. immigration. Well, the, well, the, but the, the 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 you know the they're coming out of the woodwork now to show their true colors when they have a president uh, with whom they uh, share the same sentiments, uh, doing all of this illegal, um, unconstitutional action to keep future Democrat voters in the United States. And then the uh, the judges that are equally corrupt and equally uh, biased come out and make these in, insane, inane, and completely unconstitutional rulings that allow these uh, outrageous illegal actions taken by the president to continue. Okay. And they, 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 they do. They need to go. And I think there should be some kind of method uh, or at least a more robust method. I think there is a method, but nobody ever uses it. There needs to be a more robust method to throw those people out because they're they're just blatantly abusing their power. Well, I think that if we have a, a majority in the Congress and in the Senate and a the correct president... Yes, the correct president. I think key. that uh, the drive of the people that understand that the country is in trouble... Yep. would be to, to do just what the Republican National uh, Party did when they, when they forced Donald Trump to sign a pledge that he would not run mm -hmm. as an independent. Right. I think we need to 
to come up with a pledge to tell them that we want them to sure. uh, to use <laughs> use their powers under Article One, Section Eight, and Clause One B of the, and that is the um, uh, what the the necessary and proper clause of the Constitution. Have you ever heard of it? Well, I I have, um, but I'm not a constitutional lawyer, and I don't have my pocket Constitution on me right at this moment. Why don't you... Uh... Uh, it says, the Congress shall have power yep. to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers and all other powers vested by this Constitution in the government of the United States or any department or officer thereof. Now that tells me that they have the power to define the role of the of the uh, the court system in this yep. country if yep. they would do it. Yeah. If and they if they have the executive to sign it, then then the <coughs> then the, the the Supreme Court should not be able to overrule that as unconstitutional. Yeah. But yeah. we so this is where the fight should begin because if we don't do it at the ballot box, we're going to have to do it at the bullets with the bullet yeah, box. The, the, I know. Because I'm telling you, th this this cannot go on what they're doing. We've been we've been penetrated. Now we're being overtaken yeah. by right. illegals. Yes. Right, right, right. And 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 the, this president, I, I'm convinced that this president, this is a uh, he's engaged, has been engaged for the last um, six years in, in a, essentially a, a nonstop campaign of provocation against the American people. He, he's been jamming a stick in our eye almost since he was elected and flagrantly uh, abusing his power. Uh, I, I engaged in criminal acts, engaged in rampant unconstitutional acts, uh, radically exceeding his authority and doing it in a way that is blatant and obvious, purposely to uh, to to rub our faces in it. And 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 with the aid and the comfort of the Supreme Court, because and, and they, the national they, news media, they yeah, <laughs> and the news them. media, and yeah. they've captured. The you know <laughs> yeah the news media yeah, yeah they're in it. They they're the fifth that, column they, they yeah. keep the yeah. they are the fifth column yeah. they keep the propaganda yeah. out there for yeah. him that propaganda yeah. is what protecting and reinforcing this right. idea that the Supreme Court has ruled mm -hmm. you know and 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 they don't say that they don't uh, say that the Supreme Court ruled and have made a ruling that is unconstitutional. Yeah. There is no way that... No, no, go back to what you said, Phil. They made a ruling, but they didn't create a law because a law still has to be written by Congress. That's exactly right. So all they did was <laughs> made a ruling. So when they arrested that lady in yeah. Kentucky, they arrested her for what? Well, yeah. they just made a ruling. They didn't create a law. She's yeah. not protecting the law. That's right. Any law that she was protecting is the law that her state had already had. And and that was in 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 force. That, that was well, in force. Know, that they protected he, marriage. Yeah, yeah, and and, and and you know, for the illegals, uh, constitutionally, there is no legal protection. They have no legal Absolutely. protection under the law. No, they don't. Well, and, the courts and, created it. They they created it when they right, uh, right you, exactly when the, when the, they when they decided that when the illegals come across the border pregnant that they would uh, say right. okay that 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 child is now a citizen because right. somebody right. walked twenty miles mm -hmm. right. to have a baby in a, in a right. hospital across this border right that law was created by judges yes, and right. the 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 Congress has uh, allowed those laws to stand yeah. And those edicts, they are unconstitutional. All edicts, they're really not laws. They're edicts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not laws. Rulings. And, and yeah, yeah. There's, there's no law that says that. And, and everything in our Constitution says that there are no edicts in this country. It's mm -hmm. either laws or. And then, and, and it's the same thing with agencies and uh, these. Yep. These, uh, like the EPA and all of these. These people are yep. making laws and stuff like oh, that. They're, they're, they're 
absurdly abusing their authority and uh, going way beyond yeah. anything they have any right to. Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to we're going to have to form co- coalition and get this word out. We're going to yeah. have to do this. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sure we can count on you. We're going to get that petition up on our website too, oh, uh, yeah, today. At the do. end of the day, I should have that petition up on the website. Is there, uh, is there some uh, information that you'd like to give out because we're getting to the end of the show? Well, you know, I, I have to say I noticed that you guys were, that Sterling Heights was in the news for a protest they had last week yes. about uh, a fourth mega mosque going into a Chaldean Christian community uh, two miles from another, uh, within a few miles of three other mosques. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to, I, I'm trying to get my mind around how they rationalize something like that when there's so few Muslims in that area. Yeah. I, I believe this is, uh, as the Chaldean Christians have said and other protesters have said, this is an effort for uh, by the uh, uh, Muslims to continue to prosecute the war against those Christians that they were conducting yes. in Iraq. Well, mm-hmm. we are at the end of the show. Listen, uh, we, we, we've got to uh, continue with this, so um, uh, stay in touch and yep. uh, give us uh, your, your, your uh, it's too website. Late. <laughs> if, if, Go if, ahead. We got time to get that website? Yeah, get that website. Well, we got a minute? Yeah. No, less than that. Okay. For the Go petition. Well, I'll send you the link to it. Send okay. us the link. It's, it's, we'll have it up by the end of the day. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Thank we'll be gentlemen. in touch. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So, folks, I can tell you. The Abolitionist Roundtable invites the Wham Talk 1600 listeners to continue the roundtable discussions by mailing correspondence to Art of Michigan, Post Office Box 135, Garden City, Michigan, 48135. Or follow Phil and Dell at artofmichigan.com. You can also send emails to artofmichigan at hotmail.com. And most of all, continue to listen every Saturday and tell a friend.